Guys, how we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. I'm asked all the time, why do I need a snow plow, snow pusher, or anything else? I've already got a bucket on the front of my tractor. What's wrong with just using that? And yeah, it's gonna remove snow. It's gonna push it. It's already there. It's convenient. It's paid for. Move that snow where you want to. Be done with it. Simple as that. Every attachment is built for certain tasks. Set of pallet forks, a grapple, a tiller, a brush hog. And just because it's on the front of your tractor right now doesn't mean that it's suited or intended to move snow. There's a lot of reasons why a bucket is not good for snow removal. Let's get into that now. If you like what you see here, would you do me a big favor? Give me a thumbs up on this video. And if you'd like to see future videos like this one, hit that subscribe button right down below. If you're in the market for tractor accessories or attachments, maybe even a tractor itself, read through the description below or go to GoodWorks Tractors. You'll find all sorts of cool products for tractor owners like us. Now, don't get me wrong, I love tractor seat time just as much as anybody else. However, it can be frustrating and annoying, especially if it's freezing cold out and you're in an open station tractor to not get the job done quickly. So with that being said, you take a look at the design, the construction of a bucket for the front end of your tractor. Could be a skid steer too. The point being, it's designed with a bottom, back, sides to trap and hold material. Whether that's dirt, it could be mulch, it could be rock. It could be snow. The point is, is that it's gonna keep it inside there and not let it go without an effort from the operator. So with a snow pusher or a snow plow, you're driving forward, pushing that snow wherever you want to, and when you got it to that point where you wanna leave it there, all you do is just start backing up, maybe raise the loader up a little bit, and away you go. The same can't be said with a bucket. With a bucket, again, that snow wants to stay in here, or whatever material it is. So you have to lift that bucket up, you have to rock it forward, you have to shake it out. There's still gonna be a lot of snow trapped in these corners here that's overall gonna make it a very inefficient tool just from that aspect. So if you take a look at the snow pusher right here, and it could be a plow as well, it's the same concept, you'll notice there's no bottom, there's no floor, there's nothing to trap and hold material in it. That's the big difference between a bucket and a pusher. So when you're moving that pile of snow forward, you just simply back up and it's gonna stay there. One push is no big deal, but push after push after push, and then every time you go out and plow, and then season after season, that's a ton of additional time that you're spending just on shaking a bucket to empty the material out. One of the ways that I've seen, I've read online, to kind of help snow release and maybe not get stuck in these corners is gonna be using some sort of a spray. You know, a, a lubricant, silicone, Teflon, PAM even, but just spray it all inside here. I've kind of seen mixed results. I'm pretty sure I even saw a thread on one of the tractor forums where a guy did a test with and without the Teflon or silicone spray inside of a snowblower. Didn't really see much of a difference in the result, but overall I think it didn't do any harm. So maybe it'll help you, maybe it won't, but it's something to look at if you're gonna use your bucket. Another consideration with the design of a bucket here is gonna be this bottom edge that comes along here. Not only is that gonna trap and hold material that's in here and not allow it to release, but it also means it's intended to dig dig down and dig into a pile, whatever material it is, again, gravel, dirt, mulch, it could be any of the above. But the point being is that as this is riding along that plowing surface, it's going to want to naturally just dig into whatever that surface is. If you have gravel, stone, even asphalt or a concrete surface, you catch any edges on there or loose stone, it's gonna maybe chip an edge, collect that stone, put it into your yard, somewhere you don't want it. So you can see a bucket right here with a long edge designed to dig compared against a plow right here. It's gonna have skid shoes tucked underneath the bottom or if you have a snow pusher, you'll have skid runners on either end that are gonna prevent this main leading edge here from digging down into the ground. The intent is to just kind of glide along with those skid shoes or the skid runners, not dig down, but just follow that surface there, the contour of it, take care of the snow and move that where you want to. So that's something very important to consider because that could end up costing you a lot of additional money repairing that damaged surface down the road. If you're concerned about costly repairs to the surface you're plowing, whether it's a gravel drive, concrete, asphalt, the same thing can be said for your bucket as well. Because this edge right here is gonna wear significantly and unevenly, meaning you're not gonna be able to use it very well for other digging purposes that it's really intended for. This edge right here is going to end up rounding off at the corners here. You'll see a lot of significant wear chewing up the main portion of this wear edge and then it'll come back in and die off into these side plates right here and once you get to that point you're really making it unusable however if you really want to use your bucket or maybe it's just a temporary solution until you can figure out a better long-term solution there's some things you can do to prevent that uneven and unnecessary wear on your bucket edge you're going to see a couple of different products right here one is going to be essentially a type of skid shoe that you can put onto your bucket. Just kind of fit it on there like that. And it's gonna keep it from allowing the main bucket edge here to make contact with that plowing surface, both 
protecting your plowing surface and the bucket itself. The trade-off is gonna be the fact that your bucket is then gonna be, oh, maybe three quarters or an inch above the plowing surface, therefore leaving a significant amount of snow behind. Another option you can look into is something like this poly, or UHMW it's called, a cutting edge that you can put onto your bucket, kind of mount it down underneath here, and make this a sacrificial edge instead. Not only is poly a good option for that, but this is very protective of paved surfaces as well anything like your asphalt or your concrete. A good way to sum up UHMW is that it's going to cut like steel but protect like rubber. Now some buckets are gonna come pre-drilled, which this bucket here was already pre-drilled. You can see there's actually an additional steel edge on the bottom. A lot of smaller compact and subcompact tractors will not have a pre-drilled bucket edge on here, so you may have to do a little bit of drilling on your own in order to secure the UHMW. Now I will have links below in the description of the video if you want to get more information on where to buy skid shoes like this or the UHMW. While we're talking about edges on buckets, you know what, I had totally forgot I even had this. It's wintertime, you don't think about it too much, but this is a really cool option for the summertime. It's gonna be a way to enhance the versatility and the digging capability of your bucket. Instead of having this smooth edge here, you'll have these teeth. This whole bar here just tightens down. You have these Allen uh, set screws here that just tighten down, it stays in place. I honestly never take mine off because it's that handy to have when I need it, but something to take a look at. This is a heavy hitch tooth bar. You go to their website and order directly there. Anything on their website, you get 5% off with code GWT. So again, I'm not saying that a bucket is not going to work for snow removal. It certainly will. It's just that there are certain tools that are meant to be used for snow removal. There are certain tools that are used to be able to scoop and dig and hold material. So they're two different things and trying to use one for a different purpose is going to be kind of frustrating and could end up being very costly for you. Even if you're trying to save some money up front, it could cost you more down the road. So if you found this video helpful, consider giving me a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel by clicking that button below. Below. And as always, read through that description. You'll get helpful information, links on where you can buy those products like those skid shoes or the poly edge or maybe a snow pusher or a replacement bucket or a whole tractor. We can put together a whole package for you and ship it to you as well. Well, until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Right inside. Let's go. Come on. Have fun. Start over.